It's a life-size robot that can catch and shoot a ball. Can you imagine that? And Bibb County students put it together. 41 NBC Sean Franklin stopped by the Howard High School robot room and took it for a test drive. So, Sean, I think the big question tonight is, I know you took a test drive, but did you drive that thing into the studio too? <laughs> Ashley, no, I didn't. But I tell you what, it was a lot of fun taking it for a spin. These high schoolers knew what they were talking about. From the programming to the materials, I'm convinced they're ready for their upcoming robotic competition. <laughs> For Jordan Lasker, it's become, well, family. I like to call the robot my baby because of this, because I gave it a mind. And this thing definitely has a mind of its own. A group of about 30 kids, Team RoboBib, came together to build this robot and compete in the upcoming first robotics competition. The students are from multiple Bibb County high schools. Team RoboBib is competing against more than 60 schools here in the southeast to move the robot in certain directions and have it do certain things so that they can win the competition. The robot will actually catch a ball, drop it into its arms, and then punch it into the goal. And it's all controlled with a joystick. Lasker says it took a lot of teamwork to complete nice. the project. If I didn't have my teammates, I don't know that we'd be where we are now. And Joe Finkelstein, who sponsors the robotics club at Howard, says it was truly a group effort. But these guys are, are amazing, the way they picked it up and went with it. A lot of cooperation um, behind the scenes. We, you know, we had to do marketing, definitely raise money. We were lucky to get a uh, rookie grant that I know you guys featured going back a couple of months ago, but we also had to get other money from companies to kind of step up and be partners with us. The rules say the majority of the robot must be out of commission for about a month prior to the competition. Until then, students like Lasker will have to deal with missing a member of the family. The team partnered with members of the community as well as a Mercer engineer, uh, the Mercer engineering students to accomplish the feat. The competition is still a month away, but in the coming month, the team will build a second scaled down version of the robot to practice driving before the competition.